Hi students! Welcome back again to another episode of Learning. For today's video, pag-aaralan natin ang conditional probability of independent and dependent events. So please check on the link in the video description para mas madali nyong masundan ang lesson na ito. So yung lessons na iyon is all about uh, probability of independent and dependent events. Kasi nga, ang lesson natin ngayon is all about conditional probability which involves independent and dependent events. So, what is a conditional probability? Conditional probability is a probability with a given condition. So, this given condition is also called the prior event or the known event. Ibig sabihin nito is, meron tayong uh, prior event or uh, unang event na nangyari and then kukunin natin yung probability nung other event given that the first event has already occurred. Okay? So, magpo-focus tayo rito sa probability of independent events and uh, conditional probability of dependent events. So, dun sa previous lesson, na-discuss ko roon yung pagkakaiba ng independent at dependent events. So, kapag independent events, hindi na-apektuhan yung sample size natin, samantala sa dependent events is na-apektuhan yung ating sample size or sample space. So, the formula for conditional probability of independent events, we have probability of A given that B has already occurred. Ito yung ating prior event is equal to probability of A or probability of B given A. Okay, ito yung ating prior event. Basta yung nasa right side, yun, ating, yun ang ating prior event is equal to probability of B. Okay, so kung mapapansin ninyo, walang epekto yung prior event Okay, doon sa kinukuha natin na probability. Kasi nga, ito ay independent events. Okay, next, for conditional probability of dependent events, let us recall the formula for uh, probability of dependent events. We have probability of A intersection B is equal to probability of A times probability of B given A. Okay, so dito sa conditional probability of dependent events, ang kinukuha natin dito is itong nasa part na ito. Okay? So, probability of B given A. Okay? So, let's just analyze the word problem para makuha yung part na ito. Let's have an example of conditional probability of independent events. So, two cards are to be drawn from a standard deck of 52 cards with replacement. If the first card is red, what is the probability that the second is an ace? Okay, so dito sinabi na uh, two cards will be drawn and with replacement. So dahil with replacement siya, so this is an independent event. Yung hinighlight ko rito is ito yung ating kukunin na probability. Okay, so siya yung nasa left side. Yung nasa right side, yun ang ating prior event. So probability of an ace, okay, ito yung kinukuha natin na probability. Yung nasa right side, yung ating prior event. Sabi rito, if the first card is red. Okay? So, that means ang prior event natin is itong red. Okay? Is equal to probability of A. So, walang epekto yung, uh, yung given or yung prior event kasi nga ito ay independent event. So, we just get the probability of A wherein yung ating A sa standard deck of 52 cards ay 4 out of 52 is equal to 1 over 13. Next problem. Two cards are to be drawn from a standard deck of 52 cards with replacement. What is the probability that the first card is black given that the second is red? So, ang hinahanap nating probability rito is the first card is black. So, probability of black and then ang ating prior event is the second is red. Kaya ito yung probability of black given red is equal to probability of black. Kasi nga, independent event siya. So, ang black natin is 26 sa standard deck of 52 cards over 52 is equal to 1 half. Next problem, a coin is tossed twice. What is the probability that the second toss shows tail if the first shows head? So, ang hinahanap natin na probability is this one. The second shows a tail. So, probability of tail, ang ating prior event is shows a head. So, probability of tail given head is equal to probability of tail is equal to 1 out of 2 or 1 half. Next, a die is rolled twice. If the first roll shows odd, what is the probability that the second shows a multiple of 3? So, probability of M, this is multiple of 3. Itong hinahanap natin na probability given the prior event that the first roll shows add. 
Okay, so probability of M given O is equal to probability of M. So probability of M natin, which is multiple of 3, is 2 out of 6. Kasi nga, sa 1 to 6 na uh, number sa die is 3 at saka 6 lamang ang multiples of 3. So 2 out of 6 is equal to 1 third. Next, let's proceed to conditional probability of dependent events. So, two switches are to be tested from 10 switches, four of which are working. What is the probability that the second is working given that the first is not working? So, kunin muna natin ang probability ng ating prior event which is given that the first is not working. So, probability of not working is equal to, ang not working natin dito is 6. Okay? Kasi nga, out of 10 switches, apat ang working, therefore, 6 ang not working. So, 6 out of 10 ang ating prior event. Okay? Ito na yung nangyari. Now, ang hinahanap is, what is the probability that the second is working? So, probability of working given that the first is not working is equal to so, ang ating working is 4 out of 9 na lamang kasi nga ito ay dependent event. So, yung 10 switches mababawasan ng isa kaya 4 out of 9. Next one, 2 switches are to be tested from 10 switches, 4 of which are working. If the first is not working, what is the probability that the second is also not working? Okay, so probability of not working, this is a prior event that is 6 out of 10. And then, ang ating hinahanap is the second is also not working. So probability of not working given not working is equal to, since ang ating, ang prior event natin is not working, so yung 6, mababawasan ng isa kaya magiging 5 na lamang siya. And then yung 10 ay magiging 9. Okay, kasi, kasi nga parehong not working, so 5 over 9. Next problem, a bag of jelly beans contains 7 red, 5 green, 3 yellow, and 5 orange jelly beans. A jelly is drawn, eaten, before drawing the second jelly bean. If the first jelly bean is green, what is the probability that the second is yellow? So, uh, first, kunin natin ang uh, probability ng prior event which is green. Okay, probability of green is equal to lima yung green natin. Okay, ito yon out of 20 ang total. So, 7 plus 5 plus 3 plus 5 is equal to 20. And then, ang hinahanap natin na probability is that the second is yellow. So, probability of yellow given green is equal to uh, ang yellow natin ay 3 and then mababawasan yung ating sample space from 20 magiging 19 na lamang siya because this is a dependent event. So probability of Y given green is 3 over 19. Next, we have the same problem na iba lang yung question dito. If the first jelly bean is red, what is the probability that the second is also red? So, ang prior event natin, probability of red is equal to 7 ang red out of 20. And then, yung conditional probability natin, probability of red, given that we have a red. Okay? Is equal to, uh, dahil parehong red ito, yung 7 natin dito is magiging 6 and also the denominator 20, yung total is mababawasan din ng isa kaya 6 over 19. Next, we have the same problem. Ang question ang naiba. So, what is the probability that the second is yellow given that the first is orange? Ang prior event natin dito is the first is orange. So, probability of orange is equal to 5 out of 20. Okay, ito yung 5 orange natin. And then, probability of Y given orange is equal to a 3 ang ating yellow. Ito yon out of 19 na lamang dahil mababawasan ang ating sample space. So, that's it for today's lesson. I hope you learn a lot. Thank you and have a nice day. Goodbye!